hi guys welcome back to another video uh another day as i've talked about there was a guy that sucker punched a nine year old and guess what he was a black cat so i guess uh this is happening again and again and i guess this is becoming a very big issue where these so-called um like black people are feeding into this uh, typical stereotype of aggressive black people and this has been continued for so long that even black content creators are talking about it and making videos about it and when your own community is calling you out then there's something definitely wrong going on that you're doing there's something that you're doing wrong that your own fucking community is calling you. otherwise you might have got started like you might have got some kind of support right and let me show you what this ha what what exactly happened and it is becoming a trend now in especially in new york i guess i guess there are more psych psych like psychopathic people in new york i guess these days moving around freely so let's see this one so over here uh, uh if you want to see this is the first video uh where the news uh fox news had already uh talked about it and i'm going to show you the video and I, just to give you a brief about what happened this guy homeless guy had sucker punched uh the woman uh, not, not even a woman a nine-year-old child who was standing uh, who uh, she was standing just beside her mom so basically how can you feel safe when you're just in subway and you get like just smashed by people around and i have as i've told you this is another fucking black dude and like these are like all all these videos are either these minority people either it's a fucking brown mexican or either it's a fucking black dude or kind of performing this kind of assaults and when you talk about it it's like oh are you being racist i mean if you act like a retard that uh, like that obviously the whole society will be racist if you, if you if you think you're a black person you can do anything and every time you, every, every if anyone's gonna call call you out you're gonna be racist yeah if the 90 percent of the society like the indians which also like comes comprised of mixed indians indians the asians the southeast asians the americans if all people come against you and try to be racist to you and like do the same behavior that you do to them what will happen to you guys and it's kind of like it kind of rages me like to see this kind of stuff and this and because of these kind of people who who uh do this kind of behavior and feed into the typical stereotype of black people being aggressive the actual victims that are uh that are facing injustice from these uh so-called white cops or maybe the white uh some white guy beating them up or doing something to them if they if they have to file a complaint or they have to talk about their story no one may believe their story because these motherfuckers who are feeding into the black stereotype of these aggressive black men they are just like creating a very bad image for these black people and the other people that are actually good people are not getting the proper treatment that should be get, they should get in the society and if an injustice happens to them no one will listen to them so some some point at some point people will start to snap and when they start to snap there will be violence against black people more and then even if you come to the social media and just post videos about it you no one will give a shit about you because you are just 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 feeding into the rage of other people you're just giving other people an opportunity to to hate your fucking community i guess this one i can i can understand this is a psychopathic uh psychopathic uh homeless fucking idiot who just uh, smacks people around he has been dying uh, done this once before also he was arrested i didn't know why the fucking cops left him maybe some fucking social media a uh, so-called uh, fucking activist said oh this is black people you cannot arrest black people like some kind of stupid motherfucker did that and he got bail or something and he's back in the street sucker punching will you fucking take responsibility for the people that he is harmed and right now you see what kind of uh, like acts that these people well, are doing one suspect right now. is behind bars this morning awaiting arraignment he's accused of punching a nine-year-old girl in the face and it's not his first assault with very similar circumstances good day's briella tomasetti live at grand central where this latest assault took place and we're hearing there's just a little girl involved in this briella what's going on 
Yeah, a nine-year-old girl, Dan, and Tashani. A 30-year-old, Giancarlos Zarzuela, is set to appear at Manhattan Criminal Court later this morning. Yesterday, he was walked out of these doors behind me by police in the wake of that violent and unprovoked attack. Why'd you punch him? What, what happened? 30-year-old Giancarlo Zarzuela is due back in court today after being arrested over the weekend for punching a child inside Grand Central Terminal. Zarzuela will go before a judge on felony assault charges in Lower Manhattan. Police say just before noon on Saturday, Zarzuela approached a nine-year-old girl who was standing near her mother in Grand Central's dining concourse without warning and slugged her in the face. MTA officers immediately responded to treat the young victim for pain and dizziness. She was taken to NYU Langone Tisch Hospital for treatment and is expected to be okay. Zarzuela, in the meantime, slipped away after the attack but was apprehended late Saturday night after police released surveillance photos of him. The alleged attacker is known to police. Court records showed Zarzuela was arrested on April 4th and charged with assault, reckless endangerment, and harassment for punching another victim at Grand Central Terminal. He was released without bail in that case and now is back in police custody less than two weeks later. Again, Zarzuela currently being charged with felony assault in relation to this specific case, but MTA police say he could face even more charges down the line. For now, we're live here, though, outside Grand Central Terminal. Dan, back to you. All right, Brela, thank you very much. I think what's wonderful with... Uh... Fucking disgusting, completely. Apprehended late Saturday like, night morning. Literally, like you can you can see that like he has already com com like committed a felony, and how 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 can you release him? Like what terms did you like think that he he will like act normally? Like at least give him some like like therapy or help something like that. At least he like act or maybe bro like like fucking give him to a fucking homeless shelter so at least uh, they will take care of him and maybe like most of the NGOs that ha that are supporting these homeless shelters they provide for these kind of mental therapies or trauma therapies if he's going through something that mental trauma maybe he's homeless for a reason maybe his family kicked him out maybe he left his family for some reason maybe uh they passed away and he's an orphan it could be anything but whatever your fucking sad backstory is I'm, this is not america's got talent i'm not here to listen to your fucking backstory your past doesn't fucking matter to me you the present that you're behaving right now is reflecting of of your upbringing and your stores uh your behavior yeah your uh your behavior right now and that's impacting the image of the fucking black people like in the last video and the last video before that also these kind of people i guess i can give this guy a little leeway that he he was homeless and probably uneducated but that woman that was smashing cars i she bet she was uh, working at a very uh, prominent position in some company because she had a good decent as car i don't know why she was doing that and before that also the the guy that was harassing people he was also i think uh uh, at least well off like he had uh, he had a decent earning and stuff like that i don't know why these people are just going on like behaving like this kind of sh like shit when they these people are coming from very well off families this homeless guy you can justify it by saying that yeah yeah i guess uh like this guy is just like acting like a retard because he maybe didn't get the love he maybe is going through trauma maybe he's going through stuff but expected like, to be okay Zarzuela in the meantime slipped away after the attack uh, like, but like this one I can again Zarzuela but MTA police say he could face even more charges down the line like for this one the at least at least in this one is showing on that he's arrested so Fox before that uh before this where was the video exclusive we're learning that a man who's wanted Before like this, uh, I think there was another video. Uh, I am not sure where. I think, yeah, this one. So in this video, sorry for the fucking for ad. And data science... In in it this, like in this video as well.
Like when this happened, this another incident happened to this nurse, and she's a nurse. She helps. Like what? Look what happened to her face. Nurse Mary Klein says a lunatic socked her out of nowhere as she was taking a stroll in Venice, California. The accused. Like another another motherfucking black people. Homeless assailant hit her so hard she had to have her jaw wired shut. Like, why do you have to act so aggressive? Like, what? What's the big deal? Like, I know your life might be miserable. Like, a lot of people are like unemployed in every every part of the world. Like, obviously, there's an inflation. There's the cost of uh, living has increased. Everybody has problems in their life. Even the even the richest guy in the world might have their, his own problems in life. That doesn't mean that he's going on sucker punching everybody on the street. Is that the behavior? Is that the outrage that you? That like is is this is this is this wall your fucking rage room that you can smack anything on the street that you want? That bitch is breaking car, uh, breaking windshield. This motherfucker's breaking people's teeth and stuff like that. What kind of behavior is he, that? He tried to kill me. He tried to choke me, and he tried to knock me out. Mary Klein says she'll never feel safe again. I think we have a tremendous mental illness crisis with the homeless population we don't realize that our our families are not safe expect fleeing the station after the attack oh yeah they, they mentioned that noon he, he had already have done a felony before day, police found him near a homeless shelter and get this just nine days earlier, 30 year old. So, this is nine hours ago. So, I guess this incident happened uh, around like 16th because US is 12 and a half hours uh, behind us. So, I guess 16th of April, this happened. Uh, like, he was arrested. Before that, he or nine, nine days ago, he had already had a family. Breaking the nose of a 54 year old woman. Like, how can he release this kind of mad dogs in the, the street? Same like, location. I don't and was promptly released on no bail. It doesn't make any sense that this guy who recently was released after being charged with randomly punching someone else and breaking that victim's nose should be back in a public space where he can attack others, especially children, says the spokesman for the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. Such unper- I know. <laughs> After these kind of incidents, when actual fucking victims, uh, like actual uh, pe black people that have faced injustice fr from other communities, white community, Hispanic community, or brown community, if they are coming out, they're gonna face the rage of these people who are getting outraged because of these fucking incidents are, that uh, are happening, where black people are just like go going on causing rampage in the city, whether it's New York. Well, last one, I think, uh, I don't know, it was, I think, in Jordan, a metro station or something. Uh, there was another incident, and uh, there was this uh, woman that was smacking the girl, I think, that was Minneapolis or something. I don't remember the exact place, but like that, basically, all over the states, these kind of incidents happening. I'm not saying that white people don't do uh, bad shit, but I'm just saying, if you want, uh, as a, as a, uh, if you are a black person and if you want to promote that black life matters which i think is uh, stupid because i think the motto should not be just like black life matters or indian life matters hindu life matters i think in i think as humans we should be taught that each and every person is important and each and every person's life matters irrespective of the uh, irrespective of the gender race skin color like like I don't know why is it to be specific that one community should be supported more than the other community and there should be divide between that. I guess the divide is the reason that these kind of incidents are happening. To be honest, I don't know the exact reason. I'm not a, uh, like a psychiatrist. I cannot. Uh, uh, I don't study human behavior that much. But like as much as I know, this could be one of the reasons where this kind of aggressive activities are happening whereas black people are showing their anger and frustration towards the white community or other races or maybe this just trying to store the dominance which is also kind of sick ah it's completely like demotivating to watch these kind of videos every day every day like at least like three to four videos pop up on my feed and and over here this i've uh as i've already uh 
mentioned before i watched this uh, woman's videos she is a black woman and she made this video and you have to watch this video to understand more content i like go on tiktok the other day i see this girl talking about yo i just got punched in the face in new york city i was literally just walking and a man came up and punched me in the face out of nowhere this man just came up and hit me in the face he goes sorry and then punches me in the head last week i was assaulted in new york city as you can kind of see here with my black eye i get five i get six i get eight i get ten on the four videos i just showed you they don't give a description of the man which of course typically we know what that means when you're not getting a description of the person who committed the assault you are kind of getting a description of the person who committed the assault i don't want to say that's the case all the time but honestly in 20 24 like nine times out of ten but when they come on to tiktok they're not being as forthcoming with the description because if you say it was a black guy or a hispanic guy all of a sudden you know people start coming at your neck for being a racist a xenophobe all these different things so we can sort of read between the lines here i like go on tiktok the other day i see this girl do you understand what the fucking biggest problem is you can't even complain because this so-called motherfucking black uh other black influencers not this one she's a very good individual she talks about a lot of matters you should definitely go check out her channel but either the so-called tiktok black influencers every time some someone will call out a black uh, person or a or, or, person of color that oh this guy did something to me they'll come in their defense irrespective of they know the, the situation they know the person they'll just come to their defense you cannot defend a person that you know nothing about or you cannot defend the side of where you have not studied both the sides and you don't know the case itself i think it's bullshit to just see one side of the story and just start blapping on the fucking internet especially i guess tiktok is just very retired anyways that's why I don't post uh, that kind of stuff on uh, TikTok mainly. It's mainly this my me playing games and just clips of there in TikTok. I don't post serious stuff on TikTok because I don't think there is any person on TikTok that has more than two brain cells in them to just understand what I'm trying to say over here and what message I'm trying to give over here. I'm not trying to hate on black people. I'm just trying to make black people aware that your fucking community is destroying your own fucking community and you have to save your own community yourself i'm not gonna come I like this fucking super brown guy like the last video that that person said and save your fucking community you should be able to stand up for your own community and save your community and if you see these kind of black people trying to misbehave with other people you should step up uh, against your own people because if we step up then we are the bad guys and and the other guy is always gonna play the fucking victim card anyways, right? Completely messed up world, bro. Completely messed up world. Anyways, that's all for this video. Hope you like this video, found this video interesting. Sorry if I rage a lot, but these kind of situations really make me really, really pissed. That's all. We meet you in the next video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more videos. And hit the bell notification if you want notified, uh, to get notified when I post any video. And we'll miss you in the next video. Till then, peace out.